The stock market is making history, but not the kind of history most people would like. We'll explain. Plus, early this morning, an October storm moved into the Midwest, toppling trees and power lines. And tonight, power problems persist. Tens of thousands in West Michigan will spend another long night in the dark, waiting out the great October storm of 97. You're watching WZZM 13 News, working for you in Grand Rapids and along the lakeshore. And we just heard a big boom and now power's out and we're just sitting here waiting to see what's going to happen. Thousands of people are without power still tonight and many could be in the dark for a couple of more days. Good evening everyone, I'm Lee Vanamese. And I'm Juliet Dragas. Heavy snow knocked down power lines across West Michigan overnight, cutting off electricity to thousands and thousands of people. At this hour, nearly 188,000 homes statewide are without power. Tonight, team coverage of this October storm. We begin in Grand Rapids, where many people are still without power. Joanne Powell joins us now live, and what's it like out there, Joanne? Well, I'm at... I'm at the corner of Monroe Avenue and North Park in Grand Rapids. And as you can see here behind me, these streetlights and the traffic signals are not working. This is one of the areas that's still affected by the power outage. But at least if you're out driving around in your car, you're staying warm. There are a lot of people who are without power tonight doing the best they can to try and stay warm and cleaning things up. The sound of chainsaws and generators, a familiar sound at an unfamiliar time, an October snowstorm. Adam Van Overen of Walker can't believe the mess this downed tree limb made. It came crashing down on his van. I just bought it beginning of the summer and I parked it here last night and uh, it's not insured at all, so it's pretty much total loss. Here in the village of Sparta, there is plenty of evidence of the storm. There are downed power lines and branches throughout the streets. Cindy Cheslick spent the day cleaning up the mess the snowstorm left behind. I think it's horrible. It's the scary. Uh, it's a mess. It's going to be hard to clean up, but we'll get it done. You have a generator? Donna Breen makes the best of things. She and her family have been without power for about 18 hours. All the blankets out and had the candles. The kids have got pajamas underneath their sweatsuits and they got to have stuff that you don't everything is electric our stove or we got a fireplace but that's in gas and that takes electrics the storm also caught these migrant workers off guard they are planning to leave for florida this sunday in the meantime they have heat but no power which means no water or lights yeah it's a cold for me and my family yes it's uh you know no water no electricity yeah. Uh, it's our howling. Although the storm left a lot of people without power and a mess to clean up, some are making the best of things, including these kids who didn't have to go to school. Well, just to remind, if you're going to be out driving around tonight, just be careful, especially if you're going to be out driving in the areas hardest hit by the storm because there are still some down power lines and they're considered to be dangerous in many cases. And in some of those cases, some of those power lines are covered up with snow and you can't even see them. So be careful. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, Joanne Powell, WZZM 13 News. Joanne, what is the best thing to do when you are driving around and you come to a traffic signal that's out? Well, like in this case, as you can see, you treat a traffic signal that is not working like a four-way stop. You come up, you stop, and then you go. Joanne, thank you very much for your live report. Now remember, if you see a downed power line, stay away from it. And to report a downed power line, you can call the number at the bottom of your screen. It's Consumers Energy Hotline number at 1-800-477-5050. If you need to report a gas leak, call 1-800-889-1252. And we'll show you those numbers a little later on in this newscast. Well, the Red Cross is operating emergency shelters to help those in need during this power outage. We continue our team coverage tonight with Peter Ross, who joins us now live from one of those shelters. Lee, I'm in Ottawa Hills High School in southeast Grand Rapids uh, in the Burton and Plymouth vicinity. The heat is on, the lights are on here inside this secondary gymnasium, and as you can see behind me, the volunteers are at the ready. We have cots set up, and we have all kinds of blankets ready for anyone that might need a 
warm place to spend the night, and as we know, there are many thousands of people in Greater Grand Rapids that do need that kind of place. Food will be provided here at 6 p.m. as well, a full dinner. Uh, Matt Williams, excuse me, Matt Taylor from the American Red Cross joins us, and uh, there doesn't appear to be significant volumes of people here at this time, Matt. Do you think that's because people haven't heard the word, uh, they don't need, or, or what made you decide to make this service available? Not at this present time. We don't have many here. Um, I don't know if many have heard um, that we do have a shelter located in this area. Um, it's a good place to come. Uh, what made us open this is we're here for the community and we're here um, to provide a service as an on-need basis. Um, as this arises, it kind of struck everybody as a shock. Um, so we're here to get people out of cold and bring them inside and and let them still enjoy what they can enjoy throughout the Matt, thank you. And uh, it should be noted that besides this Ottawa Hills High School site, there are other locations in Kent County that the Red Cross has set up disaster relief overnight lodging and food. And those other sites are at the Cedar Springs High School and in Granville at the Middle School. That's on Wilson Avenue. The facilities are open right now. They will be feeding people. And uh, if you know someone that needs a place to stay, please tell them to come out to one of these three sites. Live in Grand Rapids, I'm Peter Ross, WZZM 13 News. Well, Peter, is there a fee for these shelters? Absolutely not. Uh, the charitable contributions to the Red Cross provide their services, so there is no fee. It is free. All right. Thank you very much, Peter. Juliet? Well, homes are not the only ones in the dark tonight. Power outages have plagued hundreds of businesses all over the Grand Rapids area. Our Shelley Bailey Shaw continues our team coverage now. She joins us live from the D&W Food Center in Walker. Shelley? Juliet, I'm actually on the D&W loading dock and inside the refrigeration truck. Now, this store has not had power in 17 hours. That means 17 hours without refrigeration. As you can see behind me, workers are feverishly trying to get all the meat, all the dairy, and about 40% of the frozen food products into this truck. And even though they seem to have the situation under control, it has been a huge inconvenience. It's, it's a little stressful, um, you know, from the personal side, my home's out of power, work's out of power. Um, associates are affected by it. Many, many customer phone calls wondering if we're open. Many customers that have driven by that we've had to turn away, unfortunately. So it, it impacts us. It impacts our neighborhood. Now, they had hoped to have all this food out of the trailer and inside the store by 5 o'clock tonight, but obviously that's not going to happen. Uh, consumer energy officials say it could be until midnight until this store has power again. Live in Walker, I'm Shelley Bailey Shaw, WZZM 13 News. Michelle, what's being done with the fresh produce and the meat? Juliet, uh, what they've done is they've taken wet cloths and draped them over the fruit, and so that'll keep it fresh. But all that meat and seafood, if they don't get the power soon, all of that will have to be thrown out. Shelly Bailey Shaw, thank you for your report from Walker. Well, days like today are perfect times for good Samaritans to shine. Brian Lawrence is one of them. He owns a party store and an ice cream shop. And there's a big freezer in the store that is not full. So he is turning it over to those without power. If you don't want your food to spoil, you can take it to Booth Joppy's Ice Cream Company. That's on Leonard Northeast. And Brian will store it for you. Brian has opened his heart and his freezer to people he doesn't even know. And Good Samaritans always do come through. And a headache today. for a lot of people oh, today. A very serious thing. All that ice cream melting, all that fresh food. It could be a real problem. Mm -hmm. Well, Bill Stephan is busy right now in our brand new weather center with our 13 next rad weather and forecast. And of course, Bill, we had slick roads last night and this morning. What can we expect? Well, it was an amazing night. I was up almost all last night taking a look at uh, what was going on outside my house. We actually had a tree branch on fire right above uh, our uh, power lines there. You can see how things looked. Uh, this is actually at my house as we're taking a look at uh, some of the uh, uh, snow there. And you can see a couple of limbs right there on the house. Uh, it was ra a rather incredible situation here, as you can see. Uh, we probably had 20 large limbs down right uh, in my little uh, house in the backyard there. We shook them with a hockey stick to try and get the uh, snow off. Uh, I was picking tomatoes <laughs> yesterday, and 24 hours later, we had about seven inches of snow on the ground, a very eerie sight here in the West Michigan area. Let's take a look at some of the maps, show you, first of all, who had the heavy snow. If you were in Coopersville, Marne, Sparta, Cedar Springs, anywhere from six to eight inches of new snow. One report from Sparta of 8.3 inches of snow. And of course, with all the leaves still on the trees from our warm October, 
We certainly uh, had a big problem out there with those limbs coming down. Not much snow out there right now. You watched a couple of uh, flurries go by Benton Harbor down to Kalamazoo. But uh, really not much going on at the present hour. And our clouds will actually become partly cloudy here a little bit later on tonight. You can see there's a lot of sunshine this afternoon across the lake in Wisconsin. The lake's courtesy of the cold air crossing uh, the warmer waters. We're at 34 right now. That's no barking for the end of October. And our wind chill temperature is at 23. If you're going out, some of the roads are going to be slippery as temperatures will be getting below freezing overnight tonight. After midnight, skies go partly cloudy. Our temperature down about 24. Winds light west and then southwest late tonight. During the day, hey, look at this. Lee, you'll like this. Partly sunny and warmer. 48 degrees. A lot of the snow will be melting here during the day tomorrow. And the outlook here for the day on Wednesday, partly sunny and even a couple degrees warmer still up to around 50 degrees. All in all, it looks like a much better weather pattern for us here. All the snow is definitely going to be melting, and I think we'll be seeing uh, much more typical weather. By the way, this wasn't even the most amount of snow that's ever fallen on October the 27th it before. Was. That was back in 1967. Just a big mess, but what's yeah. interesting is if you lived at one end of the county, very right. little problem, the other right. end Just of the county. Just depending on where you yeah. were, and, yeah. And Muskegon almost set a record. They had 121 calls to 911 in just an wow. hour's time. A lot of the emergency people were really busy today. Well, right. thank you. Well, thanks. Well, West Michigan isn't alone in its efforts to recover from this storm. Our Tracy Forner continues our team coverage now with more on on what's been left in its path. Trace? Well, Lee, Juliet, this storm roared across four other states before it landed on our doorstep, and in its wake, it left the same scenes played over and over again. 55 mile an hour winds hit Chicago yesterday, along with a bit of snow. There were eight foot waves on Lake Michigan, and the wind knocked out power for 40,000 people. Flights at O'Hare Airport were delayed up to an hour and a half. The same storm left a mess in Nebraska this weekend, more than two feet of snow in some places. Power lines collapsed under the weight. More than 80,000 people lost electricity. Some of those might not get it back until the middle of the week. The blizzard has left 10 people dead in three states. Five died when their cars got stranded. In all, more than 1,000 cars were stuck. The Colorado Highway Patrol says they think everyone is safe now, but they're still looking just in case. Denver International Airport is operating again. Some people had been stranded more than a day. I'm doing okay. I'm just a little upset about the long wait. I think they could have organized this a little bit better to meet the emergency. Um, I, the line is awesome. I've never seen anything like it, and I'm in the travel industry. <laughs> well, I was supposed to leave at 8.25 for Los Angeles. I'm on my way to Honolulu, so I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Is it frustrating for you? Well, no. You know, I'm retired. I've got plenty of time. You know. Yeah. So, we'll just have to wait and see. I'm getting a little hungry. He may be hungry, but at least he's warm. As I mentioned, the death toll from the storm is at 10, but could rise. Officials in Colorado are still looking for a handful of hunters who have yet to turn up. Lee, Juliet. Well, Tracy, you mentioned five of those deaths were stranded motorists. What about the rest? Well, the other five could all be uh, attributed to the slippery conditions. Four from a traffic accident. One, unfortunately, was an Illinois state trooper who stopped along the side of the road to direct traffic because of the down power lines. He slipped and ended up falling off an overpass. Lee? Lee. Well, all of that news can be uh, classified as uh, you can always get worse. As bad as it was here, you can see in other oh, parts yeah. of the country, in the Midwest, it was worse. Well, now, if you are just tuning in, you may have noticed things look just a little bit different. Because we are in brand new surroundings. We have a brand new state-of-the-art news set, WZZM 13. We just debuted it a matter of minutes ago. There we go. We're on a wide shot. We can see uh, our backdrop there, which is the city of city. Grand, Rapids, uh, Grand Rapids, which we said can go from day to night, just like that. We have other things as well, an interview set and the weather 13 center. 13 Next Red Weather Center. So we just hope you will continue to watch us. We're so excited. This is a very big day for us here at WZZM yeah, It 13. certainly is. Now, speaking of big days, Wall Street forced to shut down when the market spirals down. The huge drop is one for the record books. We'll have the tale. Also, it's chaos in Canada as a massive strike keeps millions, that's right, millions of kids home from school. And stay tuned to WZZM 13 News at 5.30 for the latest on the effects of the big October storm. We'll be right back. You're watching Julia Dragas and Tracy Forner working for you on WZZM 13 News. Why do I keep taking the plunge? Really, darling, how else am I going to get this hot, tasty au jus onto all this tender, juicy roast beef? Arby's French dip sub fulfills all my needs. I can even get it with Swiss if I'm in the mood. It is true love. And best of all, it doesn't require a prenuptial agreement. 
You can go anywhere and get filled up, but you can only get the French dip sub at Arby's. Have baby. Capture images of baby for in-laws. Drive to nearby Walgreens, one-hour photo lab. Get choice of standard 3-inch or supersized 4-inch prints. Have your pictures developed in one hour by Kodak trained technicians. Save up to 50% versus other photo labs. Use savings to buy extra set of photos for in-laws. Call to see if baby is walking. Return to hospital. Tell in-laws your thumb is doctor who leaned into photo. Closed captioning of WZZM 13 News is brought to you by Plainfield Toyota. With Marathon state-of-the-art gasoline pumps, you don't even have to go inside to pay for a fill-up. Unless you're thirsty. Marathon, an American company serving America. Come in for a fill-up today. What keeps one of the largest oil-producing companies in the country running so well in America? The independent business entrepreneurs who run Marathon stations. Marathon, an American company serving America. Finally, there's a multivitamin you can feel. New Vitasana, a multivitamin formula blended with pure ginseng in easy-to-swallow gel caps for a healthy, natural feeling of vitality. New Vitasana, the multivitamin you can feel. Well, it's the biggest one-day drop in Dow history, and it triggered another historic moment for the first time ever trading stopped on a New York Stock Exchange. October 19, 1987, stocks fall 508 points, losing 22.6% of their value in only six hours on one panicked afternoon. It was the biggest one-day share price collapse in history that also triggered a $1 trillion loss in share values worldwide. Now, as we said, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed today off more than 550 points. Trading automatically stopped twice during the day, and the session ended 45 minutes early to prevent more losses. The automatic stoppage rules have been in effect since 1987's Black Monday. Analysts say it is a big point loss, but the market has gained a lot in 10 years. And, uh, that the level of the stock market is much, much higher now than it was in 1987. As a percentage loss, it's less than one-third as much as happened in 1987. It's still a big percentage loss, more than 5% down today, but the stock market is still only back to the level of early June. Uh, it's still up quite a bit for the year. Well, as last week, the sell-off was sparked by another sharp drop in the Hong Kong Stock Index. The White House is asking investors to stay calm and reasonable about the drop. Spokesman Mike McCurry says despite the stock market plunge, President Clinton believes the economy is still strong. Police say he did the unthinkable, and now health officials in New York have put out a warning. They say a man with HIV is knowingly spreading the deadly infection. Police say 20-year-old Robert Burke is trading drugs for sex. His prey, 28 girls and young women he met in local schools and parks. At least 11 people now have HIV. Health officials say all of them either had sex with Burke or were infected by someone else who had sex with Burke. It's unusual for officials to release the name of an HIV-infected person, but they decided to do so in this case because they fear others may have had sexual contact with the man. Closing arguments are next in the murder trial of a British nanny. The defense rested today in the case of 19-year-old Louise Woodward, but not before she was grilled by the prosecution in cross-examination. Woodward is accused of violently shaking 8-month-old Matthew Epen and slamming his head. The boy died last February. Defense attorneys claim the injuries that led to Matthew's death happened before the alleged shaking incident. Today, prosecutors focused on Woodward's relationship with Matthew's parents they say the Epens complained about her behavior before Matthew's death, calling her inattentive. The New Jersey teen accused of killing her newborn baby at her high school prom says she is innocent. Melissa Drexler made that plea today. Prosecutors say the 19-year-old gave birth in a bathroom during her prom in June. They, they then say she strangled and suffocated the boy, then went back to the party, ate a salad, and even danced. A janitor later found the newborn's body in a trash bag. Drexler is now out on bail. And we'll be back with more news after this. Two people brought together by a common goal to remind each other how precious life can be. And together they create a bond unlike any other. 
because they're friends in the fight against breast cancer. On the 13th of every month, call your friend and remind her it's time for a breast self-exam because your simple reminder could save her life. Stop by any Grand Valley Health Plan location for a free Friends for Life brochure sponsored by Grand Valley Health Plan and WZZM 13. Free for lunch? Yeah, I I'm free. <laughs> Be right back. Fried chicken? I'm not a frequent fryer. <laughs> Some people don't want fried chicken all the time. This isn't Friday. <laughs> so KFC cooked up tender roast. Big girls don't fry. <laughs> Juicy pieces of chicken roasted to perfection. This is roasted. Oh, you want it fry? Have mine. <laughs> now get two pieces of tender roast, two sides, and a biscuit in this month's $2.99 to go meal. Visit Go Nissan during the 1997 model clearance. Save on every 97 Nissan in stock with huge Go Low discounts and special lease plans available. Like this 97 Quest XE for just $243 per month on a 42-month lease. They're loaded with air, cruise, cassette, power equipment, 7-passenger seating, and a V6 engine. Yes, Go Nissan has 1997 models left, so shop and compare. Enjoy the convenient location and hassle-free prices at Go Nissan, 28th Street Southeast in Grand Rapids. Christian Slater talks for the first time about the drugs, his arrest, and his run-in with the law. Do you have the drug problem under control? Then, Athena Onassis, the latest pictures of the billion-dollar baby on E.T. Monday at 7, 13, works for you. Well, more than 100 school districts were closed today, most of them because there was no power in their buildings. Juliet has more on today's Family First report. Juliet? Lee, it's hard to believe it's only October. This is obviously early in the year to have weather-related closings, and that could pose some problems. For example, in the Grand Rapids Public Schools, the state allows them two snow days. Any more than that, and they have to make up at the end of the year. Last year, they had three snow days, so students spent the Friday before Memorial Day in the classroom. Snow on Halloween, it's really a possibility. But if you're still getting your pumpkin ready, Carving is getting very complicated. It's not enough to have two eyes, a nose, and scary teeth anymore. Experts say it's time to get creative. A student chef from the Denver School of Culinary Arts showed off his creativity at the Tabor Center. He carved a lion's face and a skull and other scary objects. What are the basics of a great jack-o'-lantern? A uh, good fresh pumpkin, getting um, a good idea on what you want to carve, and not be afraid to carve it. <laughs> The designs used for the pumpkins are sold by Pumpkin Masters. Now, they're the people who carve custom pumpkins for ABC's Monday Night Football. The kits are available to the public in most supermarkets and discount stores. The magical musical splendor of one of the world's most enduring fairy tales, Cinderella, comes to life. Minutes ago I met you and we murmured. The all-new version of Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella airs as a presentation of the wonderful world of Disney. Grammy winner Whitney Houston plays the fairy godmother and singing sensation Brandy of Moesha is Cinderella. Other big names in Cinderella, Whoopi Goldberg, Jason Alexander of Seinfeld, and Bernadette Peters. Cinderella airs this Sunday right here on WZZM 13. Don't miss the wonderful world of Disney Sunday night at 7 o'clock. Something we all want to catch, right, Lee? Cinderella, an enchanting story that goes on and on. And we'll be right back. I just came from the greatest eyewear sale. New Visions Buy One, Get One Choices, which goes like this. Buy any pair of eyeglasses and get a free pair like this. Or get a free pair of prescription sunglasses. Or see how great you look in a free pair of contacts. And if you buy contacts, you can get a free pair of eyeglasses or a free pair of non-prescription sunglasses. Confusing? All you have to remember is, at New Vision, you can buy two pair of what you want for the price of one. Only at New Vision. This sale's the greatest. Free for lunch? Yeah, I I'm free. <laughs> Be right back. Fried chicken? I'm not a frequent fryer. <laughs> Some people don't want fried chicken all the time. This isn't Friday. <laughs> so KFC cooked up tender roast. Big girls don't fry. <laughs> Juicy pieces of chicken roasted to perfection. This is roasted. Oh, you want it fry? Have mine. <laughs> Now get two pieces of tender roast, two sides, and a biscuit in this month's two ninety nine dollars to go meal. The National Basketball League was busy last night with seven games. The Cavaliers came up with a surprise upset. For those who dream of playing the piano, your authorized Yamaha dealer has an exciting new line of Clavinova digital pianos that will have you playing the Yamaha way. 
instead of just tapping your fingers. What's that sound? Nothing, Mom. Omaha Clavinova Keyboards. We turn dreams into music. You may have noticed some changes here at WZZM 13. New satellite truck. New on-the-road live units. A fleet of news gathering vehicles. A new state-of-the-art news set and an advanced weather set. But what I really like most are the new chairs. They even swivel. Tracy Forner, now working for you weekdays at 5.30. Change is good. You're watching Bill Steffen. Working for you with 13 Next Rat Weather. Well, we are debuting a brand new weather center, and what better day to do so than today? And we're going to spin on those chairs right out <laughs> over right. the weather center, Bill. Tracy was swiveling like a low-pressure center. We're going to make him uh, <laughs> later swivel <laughs> like a high-pressure center going around. But boy, I tell you, what a weather pattern for West Michigan. Parts of the area shoveling out up to eight, nine inches of snow, especially the area in the northwest half of Kent County. Let's take a look at what's ahead for us. First of all, off to the west of us, temperatures are a bit warmer. Lots of readings in the 40s and even a few 50s out there. Sound like we have uh, better weather ahead and all our snow is going to be gone here in another couple, three days as temperatures warm up. A couple of flurries going by down toward Benton Harbor, but uh, the snow pretty much over right now and most road conditions are okay. Keep in mind that a uh, little bit of snow has melted today and we've had a couple of puddles out there. Those puddles are going to freeze up tonight so there could be an isolated icy spot in the area roads. Uh, temperatures now just a couple of notches above uh, the freezing mark here in Grand Rapids, uh, and even 32 and even freezing there over in the Lansing area. Here's what's ahead, becoming partly cloudy about 24 overnight tonight. Uh, look for skies to become partly cloudy after midnight. Tomorrow, much better day, partly sunny skies. Look at that high, 48 right. degrees. Seemed like a heat wave around here. And uh, even up to 50 here during the day on Wednesday. A couple of nice days coming up. Seven-day planner, though, has some rain coming in here for Halloween. Uh, well, the forecast uh, scary notes here. We'll see if we can push that uh, a little bit later on. So a lot of kids. Don't. Of course, uh, Lee. Of course, uh, you love that costume with Mary Poppins. That's true. Umbrella all right. and everything to be all. <laughs> It'll fine. come in handy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank I'd you. let you know, but we got to go. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back. Thirteen next rad weather brought to you by Bush's Chili Magic. To create chili magic, the folks at Bush studied hundreds of recipes from real chili lovers. For months, we stirred, we simmered, and we tasted until it was perfect. Presenting Chili Magic Chili Starter. Start with tomatoes and fresh ground beef and just add chili magic for great tasting homemade chili. Awesome chili, Mom. Hey. Honey, who are those people? Bush's Chili Magic, created by chili lovers for chili lovers. Here's my idea. I think Best Buy ought to get me in a Rolling Stones concert. Rolling Stones! We're here! I need to know where my seat is. Front row, man. <laughs> Front row seat to the Stones. Now that's a great idea. Get the Rolling Stones Bridges to Babylon at Best Buy. Light. It's given us early morning sunrises, romantic evenings, and imaginary playmates. And today it's giving us even more. Now, for those who are nearsighted, light, in the form of a gentle laser, can allow you to see with clarity all the other wonders that it provides. Laser correction for nearsightedness. Call Grand Rapids Ophthalmology, 616-949-2600. And we'd like to thank you once again for joining us on this special evening in our brand new home. And stay with us for the latest on the power outages throughout West Michigan and the rest of the day's news. That's next at 6. Welcome to the edge, brother. The place where mushrooms live at their own risk. Where the toppings meet the tongue and outer crust has been abolished. The Edge from Pizza Hut, where there's no outer crust and no inner lawn. Where the toppings roam free and the taste runs deep. It's The Edge Pizza, and you're just $8.99 away from 16 pieces of pure, pulpritudinous toppings. Come on, have you been to The Edge? Save your pride of West Michigan Magazine. It has a coupon for American Speedy Printing's popular custom color calendar. Take 12 of your favorite photos, create this wonderful calendar. Add special dates like birthdays, anniversaries. Save your coupon and receive $5 off each calendar your order. 
perfect for grandparents, family members, friends, and associates, the gift that lasts all year. Custom color calendars from American Speedy Printing. Call 248-4000 for the center nearest you. That's 248-4000. When you're faced with more bills than you can tackle, call the people you can trust. Mortgage America. Take it from me, Ray Bentley. You'll work with a direct lender, not a broker or a middleman. Mortgage America can help homeowners like you consolidate your bills, make those home improvements you've been putting off, or get cash for any good reason. There's no application fee, and you don't have to send anything in the mail. They'll come to you. Call Mortgage America.